Good day to you all and welcome back to Bugs in Biology. Today's video is going to be nothing too special, just showing off a couple of cool little recent finds. This small, albeit rather attractively coloured centipede is a species called Ricida nuda, which can be found quite commonly here in southeastern Queensland. And their vivid blue legs mean that if you were to flip a log with one of these under it, as I did, you would notice it immediately. Hopefully quick enough for you to get a good look at it before it darts away. From my experience, and at this point I have encountered a few individuals of this species, Ricida nuda tends to be a very nervous and fast moving centipede. And for every second of video you're watching of the centipede obediently sitting still, there were probably 10 more seconds of cut footage of it running around like an absolute crackhead. The bite of this species, and I speak from personal experience, is nothing exceptionally painful, but I will admit is a good deal stronger than I'd expect from a centipede that size. With that said, however, Ricida nuda generally is not a species that is overly inclined to bite. And I wish I could say the same about Ethmostigmus rub ripes, because those guys are pricks. Ricida nuda belongs to a subfamily of centipedes called the Otostigmonae, characterised among other features by their large, rounded spiracles. They're those holes along the centipede's side through which the animal breathes. The Otostigmonae subfamily also includes several other genera, such as Ethmostigmus, Otostigmus, Parotostigmus, and Alipes. Here you can see the centipede licking its antennae to keep them nice and clean which is highly important as they are the centipede's main sensory apparatus. That or it's just cleaning itself to follow COVID protocols. And with the cleaning done, now it is clearly time to act like an absolute skits once again. And just when I thought the centipede was going to settle down and relax once more, it decided that my camera would be an excellent place to explore. But this adventurous little centipede was not the only find of the day. I was also reunited with an old friend. This here is a juvenile Acropisa reticulata, or mountain katydid, a species I have featured several times before on this channel. And this young nymph was not alone. Here is an adult female, and quite the spectacular animal she is. If you've seen the first video in which I featured one of these katydids, then you will most likely remember their absolutely awe-inspiring threat pose. This one, however, was not quite as willing to do it on camera and I can sort of understand why since the threat pose basically involves the katydids flashing us, and maybe this one just wanted to keep the video family friendly. Acropisa reticulata is quite widespread along Australia's eastern coast, however its distribution tends to be quite patchy. Most populations of these insects are predominantly ground dwellers. However, these ones are almost exclusively arboreal, meaning they dwell in trees. And I often find them resting at roughly face height, usually always with their heads pointed downwards. One of the most fascinating things about these insects, at least to me, is their multiple lines of defence. First, of course, you have their cryptic patterning which camouflages them very effectively against an all manner of surfaces. This camouflage is their first and probably most important line of defence, but they got more up their sleeves if a predator isn't fooled. 
If sufficiently harassed, they will lift up their wings to reveal a startling pattern of vivid blue and scarlet, which may very well either deter a predator completely, or at least cause it to hesitate long enough for the insect to be able to make an escape. But if its assailant still decides to attack, well, the katydid has one more defence left. And that is a taste which most predators seem to find repulsive. If you're interested in seeing what this remarkable katydid's threat display looks like, then I encourage you to check out this video, where the insect was a lot more willing to, uh, flash us on camera. If you enjoy my content, then don't forget to subscribe, it really helps out a lot. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, that is it from me, and I'll see you again very soon.